Hi there, this is Naomi here again, founder and creator of Well I Wear Therapeutic Coaching, with another episode of Your Freedom Steps, How to Free Yourself from Any Compulsive Addictive Cycle. And today we're gonna to be focusing on compulsive eating and something called legacy burdens. So what are legacy burdens? And how do they connect with freedom from compulsive eating? Well, there are two types of burdens that I've witnessed in myself and with the clients that I work with that can somehow get stuck in the system and they can create and cause and compound addictive compulsive behaviours. Now one is to do with things that happened in our lives where they weren't good and we picked up feelings, emotions, beliefs about ourselves that were just plain wrong and somehow we've been carrying them around, they've been upsetting us so much that they cause us to need to numb out, escape with behaviours that don't serve us, they don't serve our purpose and they don't serve our happiness. And that's one type of burden and another type of burden is something called legacy burdens. Now legacy burdens don't have anything to do with things that happened that traumatised us, that upset us in our lives. They have much more to do with things that happened in past lives. So it could be stuff that our parents experienced that they still carried with us, with them. It could be stuff our grandparents experienced, great grandparents. They Even people say it can go back as far as seven generations. So stuff in our ancestral line basically. Now legacy burdens have to do with food in a very significant way because if people in our ancestry didn't have enough food or maybe feared that they wouldn't have enough food then that fear gets passed down to us. If it hasn't been looked at, resolved, soothed, taken care of and worked through in past generations then we're going to get the full load of that and even sometimes I think some, sometimes it can actually increase as it goes gets passed down the generation it kind of rolls over a bit like a snowball increasing in size and that's you know not great news for us if we've got a difficult challenging relationship with food then we might be kind of carrying our own stuff but also stuff from past generations now what the hell can we do about that because you know it's not mine why do I I don't ask for it why do I have to sort it out what can I do about it well, don't worry, because there are some really simple, clear ways to help find the parts of us that have heroically taken on this role of bearing the burden of past food difficulties. We can find them and we can help them to release that burden. And frankly, that is, that is actually a really great way of becoming more and more free with our relationship with food. And you know, if I think about it, it's understandable. Personally, I am half German, half English, so my parents' uh, parents went through two wars, or my great-grandparents went through two huge wars, wars that resulted in the so-called Great Wars, uh, the First and Second World Wars, and those wars resulted in people not having enough food, both after the war, when it was completely economically devastated, the countries, plus during the wars, when there was the need to do some really, really... Uh, pretty rigorous rationing so no wonder people felt enormous fear and no wonder it was too much for them to process and no wonder it got passed down to us and I see it a lot I see it in myself and I see it in people I work with this this fear that there's not going to be enough food this desire to stock the cupboards have more and literally eat more have more than our bodies need to fuel and nourish themselves and you know some of that's our stuff that we can work through in also simple processes and some of that stuff that we didn't even ask for or or know about you know thankfully we live in an abundant time if we need food then we can likely if you're watching this video then we're in the position that we can just pop to Tesco's and and fill a, a carrier bag and there's no problem so if you're in the position where you feel like yeah my food difficulties do feel like they're a mixture of my stuff other people's stuff you know, past generation stuff, then don't worry because there are simple processes. I'm going to be sharing more about legacy burdens in future videos. And if you have enjoyed this content, then please click on like on this video, also subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to be sharing more about this sort of content in the future. Um, and if you have a question as well, then feel free to um, post that question and I can reply either in a message or I can even create a video 
uh, replying to that question. I love to do that sometimes. So thanks so much for listening.